Hi, my name's Amiel Matthews. I'm the Tech Officer for the School of Arts at ACU Brisbane. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new track in GarageBand and add virtual instruments. So the first thing you see is this screen in this window. So you'll choose New Project, Empty Project and hit Choose. On this screen, you choose the first instrument you're going to use. We're going to choose Software Instrument because you don't need to have a keyboard attached. Hit Create and it's an electric piano. What we see on the screen is the virtual instruments that we can choose from. Currently we are on the classic electric piano. To select a different instrument you might choose orchestra, brass, uh, full brass. You can go through and select various other orchestral groups and then individual instruments. To go back you click on the instrument group at the bottom left so that takes us back to this menu. You can go up to window select show musical typing and that brings up a virtual keyboard which you can use your regular computer keyboard for. Or hit command K and that brings up the keyboard as well. If you have a MIDI keyboard you can plug that in and you will see in the top right hand corner that GarageBand will recognize that, that extra inputs are showing. To create another track we hit the plus sign, we'll continue to use a virtual instrument and we'll bring in a bass. Another way to create a new track is Shift Option N brings up the same window. This time we're going to choose a drummer. Choose create and it's given us Jesse who plays on this smash acoustic kit playing funk rock. You can choose electric kits in this menu here but we can stick with an acoustic kit. We'll go smash is fine but we'll just go pop rock. Let's speed the tempo up. Let's go 160. Before you start recording, it's good to check what key you're in. I'm going to stay with C major with 4-4. Four, four. So you can hit the red button with the mouse or you can hit the R key on your keyboard to record. piano and we'll hit if you don't see this bottom window down here you need to click on the scissor icon up the top or you double click on the region in the top half of the window if you're using a Mac with a trackpad, you can zoom in and out using the trackpad. Alternatively, you can use the slider on the right hand side. Likewise, up here, you can use the trackpad or you can use the slider. Once you've finished your project, you can save your file like a regular digital document. Save as initially. Let's just say GarageBand tutorial and I highly recommend using an external hard drive to save all of your musical projects. Save. Once your project is completely finished and it's ready to be bounced down to a stereo 2 track you click on share, export to disk. It's already pre-selected my external hard drive and it will populate with the name plus the time which makes it very handy if you do an update or you revise it and you add bits and pieces you can just save it and it will give a new date and time. Now you can save it as an AAC file, MP3, AIFF or a WAV file. Usually I just choose MP3 or WAV because they're the most common. When you're using your own MacBook, you can share it straight to your Apple Music, which uh, used to be called iTunes. Song to music, you fill in your details, 
and it'll create an album and an artist profile and you can share it and it will populate to your Apple Music. That concludes our first video with opening a new track in GarageBand and adding new virtual instruments.